Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ebony. If you'd like to be a part of our family, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. On my channel, we are working on how to recreate ourselves in a healthier way. And if you have been hanging out with me for a while, welcome back, it's good to see you. So in today's video, we will be talking about how to meal prep plan and prepare for the next week, month, or year of your weight loss journey. Um, I believe in writing down a lot of the foods that you like to eat in order to stay on track. I This is not, my journey is not about eating foods that you don't like to eat, eating fruits and vegetables that you don't like to eat. On my journey, I am definitely eating foods that I like to eat. This is Weight Watchers. You're able to eat what you like to eat and still lose weight, and I am taking that into consideration each and every day, in each and every meal. One day at a time, one meal at a time. So what this video is about is about writing down the foods that you like to eat. Now, this is what I've done. I will show you in a second. But what I'm doing here is I'm writing down five meals that I like to eat. And this is for beginners. If you're a beginner like me, I've been doing this for about three weeks now, I'm on my third week and I sat down and I wrote down all of the foods that I like to eat. For breakfast, I wrote down five breakfasts. For lunch, I wrote down five lunches, five dinners. I wrote down about three to five snacks. I wrote down the, the vegetables that I like to eat, maybe about five vegetables, five fruits. And also, um, I wrote down a few breads that I know are good for Weight Watchers. And this will be the base of my meal planning, my grocery shopping, meal prepping, all of that. Now, some of you may say, wow, you know what, It's that's cool, but what about your family? How is your family, how do you incorporate your family in, these, in, in your weight loss journey? In the past, I have made myself a meal and my family a different meal, and that did not work. I felt left out, I felt deprived, they were eating pizza, I was eating chicken and boiled chicken and broccoli, so that wasn't what I was talking about. So what I'm doing now, is I'm writing down things that I know my family likes to eat as well as I like to eat our family staples and I make those Weight Watcher friendly. So for my first things that I started to do, I wrote down breakfast. So I love pancakes, eggs with cheese, Canadian bacon, um, my coffee in the morning. So I wrote those things down and I wrote exactly how many smart points are in each. Now I know that we're all in different um, on different plans. I'm on Weight Watchers Blue, there's Weight Watchers Purple, and there's Weight Watchers um, Green. The Weight Watchers Blue is a, okay, let me go back. The Weight Watchers Green is a little bit more restricting. You write down every single thing that you're eating and they have a point for it all. So if you have chicken, you're writing down how much the chicken points are. If you're having rice, you're writing down the rice. You're writing, you're having vegetables, you're writing down the vegetables. It's really like more restricting, um, I believe. Weight Watchers Blue is a little bit more, eat, it's a little bit more freeing. Here is a 200, um, a 200 zero point foods list that you can go on. And this is the way that I also write down my foods to make sure that I'm eating um, zero point foods as well as making my my list so I can have more points to eat what I want to eat. Um, but this is the Weight Watchers Blue. They have 200 zero point foods that you can eat. So I'm not writing down how much chicken I'm eating. I'm not writing down how many beans I'm putting on my, my plate, um, how many eggs I'm having. Those are the things that are, are um, free to me. I am not overindulging in beans, chicken, eggs, and, or any of those 200 uh, point foods. This is why I know blue is okay for me because I'm not gonna overindulge in those foods. Um, the more foods that I overindulge in, I know, um, like Weight Watchers purple would be those potatoes, the rice, um, the pasta. I couldn't do purple because I would just go overboard, but blue works for me. So this is what I'm doing with Weight Watchers blue. So I have my blue list. I mean, I have my um, zero points list, zero point foods list. And then I also have the foods that I've written down. So I've written down several um, breakfasts, several lunches, several dinners. I've written down the breads that I know that are Weight Watchers friendly and I'm gonna go into that like another video of the Weight Watcher friendly foods or foods that you should really have on hand if you're doing Weight Watchers Blue. Um, I wrote down veggies that I like to eat, fruits that I like to eat, and some snacks. I'm not really a big snacker. I honestly like to eat. Um, so if I'm going to spend six smart points on a snack, I can eat a b rice, chicken and beans and the vegetable, a whole meal for that same six smart points. So 
I would prefer to do that. I will snack, but it has to be a filling snack. I know there's lots of um, other snacks out there like Built Bar and all types of little snacks. I don't really, I Built Bar is good. I'm not d denying it. I have had Built Bar and I've bought them in the past, but those snacks are so small to me and it's not filling. I want a filling snack. I want a filling meal that will make me feel satisfied and satiated so I will not be ravenous and going to the refrigerator every five seconds. Lots of fruits and vegetables are on my list as well. So this, this, is, um, this is how I plan out my meals and this is how I plan out my grocery shopping. Now there will be times where I will do different things like we might have pizza night or we might have go out and get something to eat on a different day. That's fine. I will track that. And that's where your extra points on Weight Watchers is a, a, a four. So if you're not if you're eating regular throughout the day and you decide, "Oh, I'm going out for um dinner tonight." You have extra points for that. In that as well, I do plan that out. So if we're going out to dinner, I do leave a a day for going out to dinner. Or like today, my family is having pizza for lunch and I already have my lunch track. I'm not really into wanting pizza today, not because I can't have it, but because I already have my meal tracked and I just want to eat the meal that I'm eating. And that's cool. Maybe pizza tomorrow. So, you know, it's not, this, this plan is not restricting at all. You have to plan out your meals. You have to plan out what you're going to be eating. If you fail to plan, you, you plan to fail. I used to go to the refrigerator open it up and eat anything I want and and by the next hour or so I'm hungry again. That didn't work out. I failed on Weight Watchers several times because of that. I didn't plan out anything. This time I'm more um, organized and I have myself, my meals planned, my foods prepped in order and um, this is how I roll. So stay tuned.